Hey y'all, um, I know it's been a while, but I have just been lazy. No other reason really. Um, too lazy to do an update, but I have an update for you guys. Um, Chris is currently on debt. He's been gone for a little bit, and he'll still be gone for a little bit longer. Um, he went to probably the best place you could go on your first debt to. Um, he got very, very lucky. Um, ended up being in Las Vegas for a little while. So I got to go on my first trip to Las Vegas. Um, we ended up staying. <sighs> we left Thursday morning. Got there Thursday night. They ended up having Friday off. And I stayed Friday and left like at 5 a.m. or 4.45 on Saturday morning. So, it was a really nice trip. You know, we had a lot of fun. Um, I got to experience Vegas. Like, I will, I'm okay with not going back, I'm pretty sure. Um, Chris and I both, can't, like, won money, so we didn't lose anything. Um, and luckily, we didn't have to pay for a room. Um, and... I only had to pay for, you know, half gas because me and another wife went. Sarge, stop. That's rude. Um, and a friend of mine watched Sarge. So it ended up working out really well. Um, but now that I'm home, I have a ton of stuff to do because I started sewing. And I make unpaper towels and sell them. So now I have, like, a ton of... Or, yes, that's... Look at Sarge. You're so nosy. You're so nosy. Anyway, so I have a ton of orders that I need to sew and fill. And, like, this is my sewing machine right now. Like, I know, right? It's, like, stupid stacked. But, um, as far as the adoption goes, um, we are, we've done, no, sir. We're almost done with our interviews for our home study. The, our last one is the fourth. And I am beyond ready for it to be over, um, which our lady that is over our case is really awesome. She's really nice. Um, but I do have to landscape our yard, which is going to suck because I'm like right in the middle of planning my, planning, not planting, but planning my garden. Stop, please. And, um, it's just a big weeded up mess back there right now, so... It's going to be aggravating to try to get that done next week. Um, today, I'm going through my cloth diaper stash. I've been sewing a lot of cloth diapers. Um, just from stuff that I... He never does this till I start recording. Um, till I... Anyways, I've been making a lot of cloth diapers out of stuff that I buy at Joanne's. Since we're like super close to Joanne's. Um... I'll show you guys what all I've done. So, all these are just... This is just my stash so far. Get off. They're uh, mostly all Alva um, one size. Um, and then I have a Rumperoos newborn, a Blue Penguin newborn. Stop. And um, some Minky Alvas. And then the other newborns I made. So, I'm going to show you my stash and then I'll go through them real quick. So this is my stash. Starts over here. I got a lot of boys, boy stuff. So that's my stash and Sarge. But um, all the ones, all these right here are newborns. I I'll go through them. Um, I made this one. It is a newborn diaper with snap down for the umbilical cord and it has a um, snap in soaker um, and I got this online the um, pattern for it online on Pinterest and then it took me to you know a bunch of sites for them I think I'm gonna buy different snaps though because these suck so bad I can never get them to stay but There we go. This was my first diaper that I made. This is 
Um, the fabric is from Babyville and Joanne. It's a pocket. Yep, pocket. And um, it was the first one I did. And I really, really, really love it. It's it's super cute. I mean, I got that pattern off of Joanne's, I mean, off of um, the internet as well. But it snaps down really tiny, so in case we get a drug baby, which will probably be a preemie, this one will work very well. See, it snaps super tiny. But, um... I'm thinking about starting to use buttonhole elastic so they can grow with them. This one's also snap and soaker, so this one. And this one I'm like right in the middle of. I haven't done the snaps on the bottom yet, but this is an all-in-one. Not an wait, is it an all-in-one? I don't know. I don't know if it's a fitted or an all-in-one. Anyways, the soaker's sewed into it. So it's just like a normal diaper. And I don't know how many of these I'll make, but um, they're not terrible. I just, I don't know if I'll have, really I don't know how long it'll take to dry them. Especially in the California heat. Um, so I'm kind of iffy about it. My Rumparoos newborn cover. And I have organic cotton eco baby. Um, Prefold. Um, I like this one because it has double gussets. Like, I'm obsessed with them. Like, I want to know how to make them. And I think if I get a serger, like I've been wanting to get, that it'll be easier for me. But, and then I found this at our thrift store here on base. And it is a, um, I think they call it an all-in-two. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it has a, a sewed-in soaker and... One that kind of flaps, so it'll it's easier to dry. But it's a blue penguin. I don't know if they make it anymore. I don't know really the brand kind or like anything really about them. But um, I got it for fifty cents, so whatever. And then these, I love this one. It's so my favorite. Um, they're all Alvas. Everything else is Alva's. And um, these are Minky. I'm not in love with this. Just because I think it's... I don't know. I don't like green camo. It's ugly. But um, the cow one. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. And cute. And then basically I just have the, the whole rainbow from there. All the way to that dark green. And then black. But love them. I'm ended up putting them in these bins um, that I got from the Dollar Tree for uh, two for a dollar, and I love them. Um, so far, so good. They filled up a little bit. I'm trying to reorganize them right now because um, I have a lot now. I think I have about forty. It's quite an obsession, and I'm going to make more. As soon as I get my serger, I'm going to know. I know I'm going to have like a trillion of them. It's really going to be sad. But um, hopefully I can start selling them. I don't know who all would be interested in buying cloth diapers. But, um, I mean, it's such a limited market that it would be few and far between, I feel like. Um, but I'm obsessed with them, so. I make them for me. <laughs> um... But like I said, Chris is gone. I'm stuck at the house. I guess I'm not stuck. I just spent the weekend in Vegas, so I'm not stuck. But I'm just... You know, you get in those moods. I don't know. I have house guests. And they're really nice, so... I'm enjoying that time, and... Hopefully working, I got approved to continue with the um, CDH home process, home daycare process, through, I had to go 
through the quality review board because I had a DUI um, four years ago, four, four or five years ago. And uh, I got approved to continue with the process. So that's good. Um, what else? I was working at Subway and I quit up there because it was driving me crazy trying to work around that schedule, my adoption schedule, Chris's schedule, because we only have one car. It's a mess. But um, right now my current obsessions are sewing and I'm starting to work on our organic garden. I just started eating tomatoes and I really, really like them. So most of my garden is going to be like tomatoes and squash and uh, zucchini because those are my three favoritest um, veggies. And then I'm going to grow some fruit like strawberries and um, stuff like that. Just watermelon. I don't know how well a watermelon will grow here, but we'll see. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Our house has not changed since the last time we did a home tour, so I don't know if I posted it on my YouTube, but if you're my friend on Facebook, you've seen it, um, which most of you guys are, so, um, the only thing that's changed in our house is that I moved, that I got that sewing machine station, that's pretty much it, I moved it. I got a bigger station because I started sewing a lot more. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Been talking to a lot of the girls. Unfortunately, a lot of my friends have been having miscarriages, and my heart just goes out to them. It really, really does. I I know how you feel. I promise you. But you know what? It doesn't get e easier and it doesn't get better. But you learn how to deal. I think about my baby every day. Every day. When I first miscarried, I thought about my baby every second of every day. You just learn how to deal. It just... But anyways, I think we've decided to keep Kiki. She's a mess. This is Kiki, by the way. Oh, Sarge, you jealous. Kiki, are you going in the box? Oh, awesome, Kiki. Breaking my box. <sighs> I went for a workout today with my house guest, and um, it lasted all of like 25 minutes because I'm stupid out of shape and I didn't make a smoothie or any, I didn't eat anything before we went. <laughs> so afterwards, we went to Dickie's. <laughs> but Chris is doing a lot of debts. They're probably going to do one. Every month or so. Went to the first my first FRG meeting, which was eventful. Um, it's kinda dead because we're not going he's not going out. Their ship's not going out for a while. So it's a little dead. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see. So if you guys have anything you want to ask me about our adoption process or anything like that, just leave a comment below um, and I'll get back to you. Bye.